Hello. Today, uh, the subject, when I get hold of it, the subject <laughs> is a grizzly bear. And uh, as you see, there's a grizzly bear looking slightly bewildered, as indeed he should be. He's just been shot by this chap. And uh, as you know, grizzly bears are an endangered species, so you're not allowed to hunt them. But the reason I did the cartoon was I was told this joke, and uh, it had a twist at the end, which I thought was quite funny. And they're the jokes I like. So we'll go to the drawing board. I'll show you how I did the drawing. And I'll tell you the joke. And you can judge for yourself. Thanks again for watching. Okay, let's uh, start the drawing. And first of all, I'll draw a bear. And I'm using a pencil just to get uh, the rough outline of the image I want. And what I want is a bear lying down on the ground with his head over one of his arms, uh, looking slightly surprised. So let's get uh, the bear's rough outline first of all. And uh, there he is, lying down. Do the back paw. And now I'll draw the hiker leaning against the bear, looking surprised and exhausted. Uh, all will be explained in a minute when I tell the, the joke. Let's draw a rifle in his hand, because he's just shot the bear. And uh, I can see I'm going off screen now. Let's move the drawing up a bit. Oh, that's better. Now the camera can pick up the drawing. Right, that's about the layout that I want. So what we'll do now is we'll ink it in. And the pen I'm using is a calligraphy pen, uh, which you can buy in any art shop. And what I like about these pens is, depending on the way you hold the pen to paper, you can get a thick line or a thin line and uh, it's ideal for this type of work plus it's waterproof uh, as soon as I put water on the paper it doesn't run with the ink so that's another bonus so let's draw the little ears <laughs> and we'll give the bear he's looking cross-eyed thinking to himself blimey what was that <laughs> he's just been shot and it's a complete surprise to him and they, they were his last thoughts. So, there's the paw, and we'll do the other paw going round like that. There we go. And now we'll do it. And as I'm drawing a thicker line now, as you see, by altering the angle of the pen, I get a nice thick line, and then I can twist it again and get a thin line. So now we'll draw the hiker. And while I'm drawing it I'll tell the joke uh, about the cartoon. And it concerns a hiker uh, trekking with his friends in Colorado. And he becomes separated from his friends and he gets lost in the mountains. And he spends a week wandering through the forest and all the food he had uh, was soon depleted and he had nothing to eat and he was getting more and more exhausted and he was close to close to giving up and then he spots a brown grizzly bear drinking from a stream in front of him so uh, he uh, with his last strength he brings his rifle to his shoulders and he shoots the bear and the noise of the shot uh, uh, brings to the attention of a nearby park ranger and the park ranger stumbles upon the exhausted uh, hiker and finds him devouring the bear. He's cut a chunk out of it and he's eating, eating a portion of it. And although the ranger sympathises with the man for his predicament, the ranger tells him that since he's killed a protected species, he'll have to be handed over to the police. And in court, the hiker explains to the judge 
that he was on the edge of death and he had no choice but to kill the bear and eat a portion of it. And considering the circumstances, uh, the judge says, oh, y yes, I can, I understand. He said, in your circumstances, yes, I do understand that. Uh, and you can't be responsible for your actions. Uh, but be before you leave the court, I must ask you, uh, what, what does a brown grizzly bear taste like? Well, Your Honour, says the hiker, it's hard to describe, really, but if I was pressed, I'd say it was something like a cross between a silverback gorilla and a panda. <laughs> there you go. So that's the joke. I hope you enjoyed it. And now let's finish the painting. And I'm using watercolour paints. And uh, every time you see the uh, brush disappear to the right hand side I'm just adding a different colour. So let's do the grass. And you don't have to be too fussy about putting colour to page. Just slab it on. There you go. And now just colour, just picking up the colour and colour his face. And now he will do his suit. And like I say, uh, don't be too fussy about when you've done a drawing like this. Just uh, shade in approximately so it looks right. It looks casual as I like to say. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the joke and uh, the drawing demonstration. Thanks again for watching.